America get set up for the next big tournament. Yep. And it's always that back and forth between these two high caliber players. But we're still in pools. We got Gluto. We got SPT. Let's get ready. It's that Fox and Wario that we had seen already before in the past. But this time, it's that Fox coming up from SPT. Let's run it up right here. SPT, she's getting ready to do the damn thing here in this match. We will see how it all unfolds. And right now, I feel like she's pretty comfortable in this matchup. And I think that's, that, that's the thing about Wario. Like, there is definitely a game plan that all characters have to follow when it comes to approaching Wario. But then there comes that threshold in the match where it's like, okay, is this a good Wario? Okay, approach, you know, proceed with caution. Are they a whack Wario? Keep doing whatever it is you were doing before. You mentioned intimidation, but I also think players in general also bring that factor in as the up out of shield comes up from Gluto, such a big hitbox. SBT, she may be feeling some of that intimidation you're playing here on stage. You're getting slapped with a down tilted, or rather down angled forward tilt right there too, slapping you away from that ledge. It can be difficult sometimes to contest against a player of this caliber. It can most certainly Ooh. be, but you know, I can't take nothing away from SPT because she's bringing the magic right now, of course. Ledge trapping is both of these two characters' game for the most part, and I, I think, you know, Fox is a character that, you know, kind of... Wait a minute. Okay, when, when Wario does a combo, you just got to stop talking for a second. Okay, now like I was saying before, before I was so rudely interrupted <laughs> by Wario's combo, uh, you know, Fox is a character that can definitely ledge trap as well. I, I expect to see a little bit of it here in this match. But it's the quick ad ad adaptability that Gluto has, understanding that SPT, she's already gone for the these up smashes to catch the landing, and Gluto was already aware of that. Gets caught by the up air. Mm -hmm. And the mix-up and recovery from Gluto between the bike and then the B-reverse on the chomp, knowing right out of being on that platform, SPT, she may go for being more defensive, could actually add some of that intimidation that Gluto recognizes and actually tries to go for much more of these aggressive options whenever SPT is playing more passive. Yeah, because SPT is, you know, if they're not approaching, like, kind of safely, or if they're not, like, standing back and using laser to try to bait Gluto in, what she's doing is, like, doing fall away forward here, like, perfectly spaced cross up near to kind of keep Gluto thinking. You know, kind of keeping him on his toes. Now, I definitely respect that, but <laughs> you're not going to be on your toes at all, at least not on this stage, especially when I'm throwing out back here in the quarter. So clean stuff here from Cluto. SPT right now really needs to turn it up. Okay, tries to go for the empty hop to delay on the up air. Gets the second one. Oh, it stinks in here. It stinks. That's Wario. It stinks. It's stinky a little bit, but also those conversions be kind of nice a little bit there, too. And notice how Gluto waited to that last stock to be able to execute that, because there was a few times where those up airs, they did get caught. SPT did get caught a few times there, but it wasn't the WAP that was executed. It was just waiting for that oh. last stock to have that opportunity. Gluto saying, all right, let's wrap it up. Let's go on to the next one. And I, went, I don't want to take anything away from SPT, because I felt like she approached that matchup the way you're supposed to. You know, Wario has the ability to combo most characters in the game. So whatever, like if you can combo well, then you can definitely combo the space animals even better. That's how I always look at comboing in this game. And I think Wario can certainly get that job done. And I love like SPT's approach options. Safe back air, safe nair, safe forward air. You know, I need to apply pressure. I need to hold forward in this matchup. But I also can't approach too crazily. But I think here, Gluto, of course, is being a little bit more of a seasoned player, was able to find those openings and just milk them. That, that's really what both of these characters want. They're combo characters. They want to turn one hit into many hits. And I just feel like Gluto got more bang for their buck there than SPT did. And Gluto also has really insane timing on the way that Gluto tries to execute a lot of these punishes in general. The parry into the nair, into the double up here. You get the reset on the platform, and it goes into what we were just talking about before with the amount of control that Gluto has in general. Forcing SPT to play a ready by the ledge immediately, but I love the recovery from SPT. Mm -hmm. She immediately retaliates with those double up airs, and, and now it's been able to kind of reverse the situation onto Gluto too. Mm. Okay, but we're seeing a bit of a rinse and repeat right there from that last match. Yes, there's the back air. Nothing off of the angle down forward tilt with the dash attack in a very Wario S faction coming through with the big shoulder. Trying to turn it into some, oh, love that. Great stall there from SPT. Oh, oh no. SPT said, I'm not, I'm not going down quietly. Love that tech, love being ready right there after noticing that he was going to go in for that down here. SPT ready for that tech. See the FDL trying to find the opportunity to throw out that back air. Mm -hmm. Delicious. No. Yummy. Wow. I mean, that now that's a bite right there. Be tricky to sometimes find the time to get right past that, though. You could try to drop down for the ledge, go in for an up air instead there. Try to contest, especially Gluto being at 118 and SPT. She did have some of that rage in her favor. Mm -hmm. I think, again, SPT, of course, not being able to toss out any of that rage when you need to, I think it's going to make all the difference here in this matchup. I think Gluto, of course, just knows, okay, these are the ins and outs of Fox. You know, these are the times I could come in and go for, like, the opening. I feel like SPT just a little 
fish out of water here. I mean, I know SPT has the combos and the conversions. I've seen her dish them out, especially in that game one. But I'd like to see it a little bit more right here as this match starts to trail on. Because up tilt has just kind of been the bane of her existence here. Oh, predicting a roll back a little bit right there. By literally playing with their Twinkle Toes. A nice carry into that down smash punish. Got to break it down a little bit after trying to catch them with the Nair. Mm -hmm. Okay, that F-Tilt is just spelling trouble right now. Wario's starting to glow. That means he's about to start stinking in here pretty soon. See, Pluto's waiting for the opportunity. Get in my belly, but the up B <laughs> instead. Gonna be able to catch SPT. Such a big hitbox as a dash attack. Gotta make sure you knock them out of the waters here. That's the second stock down here. Scooto rocking not only all three stocks, but 188 with some extra rage in their favor. That's right. Now, SPT should be able to find this opening here pretty quick. Um, I mean, I know Fox, of course, needs that one hit to, you know, kind of confirm it to that initial hit. And I might have accidentally cursed her because it do not matter. Gluto coming through in a big way, in a stanky way, and closing that out right there. Walk style on SPT. This is Gluto we're talking about. It's it not intimidation, but I, I like how you highlighted that SPT did start slowing things down a bit. She was doing a really good job at spacing her arrows around Gluto, mm -hmm. but when you are so anxious to try to get that first stock, I mean, you had Gluto live basically to what, almost 200% in that last game. Yeah, that can't You're happen. doing a really good job at going back and forth in the beginning part of that last game, but it's still so difficult to find that opportunity, especially when most of the damage tacked onto you and your rest of your stocks has happened off stage between those down airs from Gluto. Mm -hmm. Gluto just, uh, I mean, just cut from a different cloth. And I feel like, you know, for these international players, I feel like, you know, these types of victories matter twice as much.